So it's now August, meaning that South Africans are only left in only a month until the two-port system gets implemented on the 1st of September 2024. So in this video, I'm going to give you all the information that you are going to need in order to understand the two-port system, the pros and the cons and everything related to it. And I've also left timestamps for all the sections I'm going to cover. So let's get straight into the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So the two-part retirement system is a reform that to allow retirement fund members to make partial withdrawals from their retirement funds before retirement, while also preserving a portion that can only be accepted at their retirement to help improve the retirement outcomes. This means that members need not to resign to access part of their retirement benefits if they are in financial distress. So imagine you have a piggy bank that you put money into every month. So this piggy bank has two sections. One is for spending now, which is the saving part, and the other is for saving until you grow up, which is the retirement part. So the purpose of the savings part is for emergency needs or unexpected expenses. And you can take money out of this section when you really need it. For example, if you lose a job or have unexpected medical bill, you can use the money from this section to help you get through tough times. The purpose of the retirement part is to make sure you have enough money when you retire and you can take out money out of this section when you really need it. For example, this money stays safe and grows over time so that when you retire, you have a secure financial future. So the new two-port system will apply for almost all retirement savings plans, both for people working in private companies and those working in government. However, here are a few exceptions. So number one is old or legacy retirement policies. So these are older retirement plans that people might have started many years ago. For example, a retirement policy from the 1980s won't be part of the new system. So number two is funds with no active members. So these are funds where no one is currently contributing because they are being shut down or are only paying out benefits. For example, a retirement fund that's being closed down because the company no longer exists and won't be part of the new system. Number three, pensioners and certain older members. So people who are already 55 years or older on March 1st, 2021, and who have been chosen the new system will actually continue with their old plans. So for example, if a person was 56 years on March 1st, 2021, and they didn't choose to switch to the new system, they will keep their old retirement plan. So this system is meant to support long-term retirement savings while also offering flexibility to help fund members in financial distress. So in many cases, retirement funds are the only savings that fund members have. So under the current system, some members resign to access their retirement fund savings to pay off debt, which is detrimental from an economic, financial planning and retirement provision point of view. So the two-part system is meant to help fund members in times of financial difficulty by allowing access to the savings component before retirement. It is also advisable that members use the savings component sparingly and only when there is a dire need. So importantly, the two-part system also protects a portion of the savings to only be used for retirement. So the new retirement system will divide your savings into three parts. So the first one is the savings part. So this is for money you can access before retirement if you need it and any new contributions you make will partly go here. The second part is the retirement part. This is for money you will actually save until you retire. Any new contributions you make will also partly go here. And number three is the vested part. So this is the part you will keep all your retirement savings you had before the new system started. So your savings here will continue to grow with investments just like before. So any new money you put into a retirement fund will go into the first two parts while you're all saving to stay in the vested part and keep growing. Okay, so now you probably will want to know as to how will you actually make split contributions or just make contributions. So starting from the 1st of September 2024, your retirement contributions will be divided into two parts by your retirement fund, which is I've said before, the savings component and the retirement components. So on the savings component, one third of your monthly contributions will go to this part. And then on the retirement component, two thirds of your monthly contributions will go to the other part. For example, if you contribute, let's say 900 per month to your retirement fund, 300 trends will go into your savings component while 600 trends will go into a retirement component. So when it comes to withdrawals, you can withdraw money from your savings company at any time. But here are some rules that you need to know. So the first one is that you can only make one withdrawal per tax year. The other one is that the minimum amount you can withdraw is 2,000 rands. The other one is that there is no maximum limit on how much you can withdraw. And then the other one is that withdrawals will also be taxed at your normal tax rate. And the last but not least is that if you don't withdraw money, it will stay in the account and grow without being taxed until you withdraw it. So this part of your retirement savings cannot be accessed until you retire. So you cannot withdraw money from this component if you resign from your job. So the money you have saved up until the 31st of August 2024 will be called the vested component. So this money will stay invested and won't receive any new contributions. And if you resign in the future, you can still access this vested component or transfer it to a preservation fund just like you can now. So when it comes to special cases, the rules for accessing your retirement savings if you are retrenched will be handled in the next phase of the reform. 
So now let's talk about seeding capital. So from the value of your fund on the 31st of August 2024, 10% or 30,000 rents, whichever is lower, will be allocated to the savings component. So this is called seeding capital. So this will be a once-off transfer at the start of the two-part system and it will not be repeated in the following years. So for example, if you have 200 rents or 200,000 rents of fund value on the 31st of August 2024, the seeding amount will be 20,000 rents, this being 10% of 200,000 rents. If another member has 750,000 rents of fund value, in the invested component, the seeding amount will be 30,000 rands since 10% of 750 exceeds the cap of 30,000 rands. Despite 75,000 being the 10% of 750, this amount will actually only be capped at 30,000 rands. And with that being said, now another question arises of will members actually receive their withdrawals immediately on the 1st of September? So funds will likely face challenges in paying out withdrawal claims immediately when the two-part retirement system starts on the 1st of September. So this new system introduces several necessary steps before it can function fully. So the first necessary step is seed capital calculation. So this calculation determines the initial amount allocated to the savings component. It will be based on values as of the end of August. Number two, claim processing. So funds need to receive, verify and process the withdrawal claims. Number three, rule amendments. So funds must amend their rules and get approved from the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. So number four is system implementation. So new systems need to be established to handle annual withdrawals from both the funds and the South African Revenue Services perspectives. So because of these steps, it is unlikely that funds will be able to pay out withdrawal claims immediately when the system takes effect. So there are a lot of questions that arise from this two-part system. So questions like what will happen if I get divorced and questions like what will happen if I resign. So with that being said, I've also left a PDF document for you to read for yourself all the other frequently asked questions regarding the two-part system so that you can actually have a clear understanding of what I'm talking about. So I've left the link in the description below so that you can download the PDF for yourselves guys so that you can read it and understand it for yourselves. So the last important question now is what should you do now? In the meantime, while we are still waiting for the 1st of September. So here are a few things guys that you actually need to look at. Number one is please ensure that your retirement fund has all the correct contact details. So this is important so that they can contact you about the reform. Number two, keep an eye out for communication from the retirement fund administrator or the trustees of the funds as they need to communicate with members about the implementation of the reform. Number three, carefully consider your options and seek advice from all accredited financial advisors. Number four, identify your long-term savings goal and plan for your future and try to save as much as you can when you can. Unforeseen events may mean that you immediately need to adjust the plan, but start with the plan. You'll actually have more flexibility than ever before, but that counts with the responsibility to protect yourself for now and for the future. Number five, if you're a provident fund member that was over the age of 55 on March 1st, 2021, then you have the option of structuring your contributions to follow the two-part design. Number six, if you have contributed to a retirement fund over several years, you may have access to a withdrawal from the seeding capital on implementation. Do not make a decision to take a withdrawal. It may be tempting to make a withdrawal as soon as possible, but keep in mind that you will be giving up the amount drawn plus all interest on that amount in retirement. So the introduction of the two-part retirement system in South Africa is a significant and much needed reform in the realm of retirement savings. By allowing partial withdrawals from retirement funds before retirement while preserving a portion of it later. So this system offers a balanced approach to managing both immediate financial needs and long-term retirement security. Number one, financial flexibility. So the ability to access portion of the retirement savings in terms of financial distress without needing to resign is a major advantage. So it can provide a safety net for individuals facing emergencies such as job loss or unexpected medical expenses. Number two, encourages long-term savings. So by ensuring a portion of savings remains untouched until retirement, the system promotes long-term financial planning and security. So this is crucial for preventing future financial hardship during retirement years. Number three, reduce resignation. So under the current system, many individuals resign to access their retirement savings, which can be economically and financially detrimental. So the two-part system addresses this issue by providing access to funds without the need to resign. Number one, implementation challenges. So the transition to the two-port system involves several administrative and regulatory steps, which may cause delay and confusion. So immediate access to funds on September 1st is unlikely, which might frustrate those in urgent need. Number two, potential misuse. So there's a risk that individuals may misuse the accessibility portion of the retirement savings, leading to insufficient funds during retirement. So financial literacy and responsible management of the savings component are critical to mitigate this risk. 
Number three, tax implication. So withdrawals from the savings component are subject to taxation, which might reduce the amount available for immediate needs. So individuals need to carefully consider their tax consequences before making withdrawals. So in conclusion, the overall two-part retirement system represents a progressive step towards enhancing financial security for South Africans. While the transition may come with a set of challenges, the potential benefits of increased flexibility and improved long-term savings outcomes are substantial. So members must educate themselves, plan wisely, and seek professional guidance to maximize the advantages of this new system.